Thank you, Isabel. NSERC has been a key partner to Canadian universities in supporting and promoting and advancing discovery research, as well as fostering the innovation agenda in Canada, as you've heard. And I must say, at Queen's, we do this extremely well. And so we're very uh, appreciative of the support and the endorsement through the funding that comes from NSERC and the research and uh, support of uh, students um, here at, at, at the university. So who better to tell this story uh, than our next speaker and the recipient of an NSERC CREATE grant which this announcement um, here today uh, celebrates. Dr. James Cordy is a professor in the School of Computing. He's the past director of the, of the school and has an impressive research record, having published more than 100 refereed academic and technical papers in software engineering, programming languages, user interfaces, compiler technology, and pattern recognition. And like our outstanding research here at Queen's, truly dedicated to teaching and advancing our, our, our students at the undergraduate and graduate level, and through the, his initiative and leadership has led to the uh, funding of a, a program that will support uh, these students. But he's also a significant contributor to innovation um, and advancing the economy. He's a founding member of the Software Technology Laboratory at Queen's and has co-founded um, Holt Software Associates, a Toronto-based company specializing in educational software systems. Please join me in welcoming Dr. James Gordy. but in particular is one member of an exceptional team of co-investigators in the School of Computing at Queen's, along with the Department of Electrical Engineering and the Center for Teaching and Innovation Learning, and along with our colleagues in the Royal Military College of Canada and our valued industrial colleagues at Research in Motion, uh, Computer Associates and IBM, I have the privilege of expressing our sincere thanks for the opportunity you've given us to build the NSERC CREATE graduate specialization in ultra-large scale software systems. This new initiative will enable us to attract the top software research system uh, students from Canada and internationally to a program that will be truly unique. Over the first six years funded by NSERC support, we plan to train more than 80 highly qualified personnel, including postdoctoral fellows, MSc students, PhD students, and undergraduate research students, in the specialized methods and advanced design concepts of ultra-large scale software systems, while adding professional development, entrepreneurship, and training uh, skills necessary to bring this technical knowledge into practice. No such graduate program is currently offered anywhere in Canada or elsewhere in the world. We're particularly impressed that NSERC has had the foresight and vision to fund the development of a graduate research program in the software area. Software is invisible stuff. It's the magic ingredient that makes all of modern life work. But like the ether postulated by physicists in the 19th century to explain how light could be transmitted in a vacuum, it's somehow magical, it's mythical, it can't be seen, and yet it's everywhere. There is no place you can stand in the modern world where you cannot see software in action. Around this room, I can already see hundreds of thousands of lines of software. In cell phones, in television screens, in iPods, in digital cameras, in networks, in the air conditioning system, in the lighting system in this room, and across the road, I can see automobiles that my colleagues at General Motors tell me contain more than 100 million lines of software managing every aspect of the automobile's safety, security, efficiency, and usability. And down the road in the hospital, every room contains medical devices, and every last one of them is run by computer software. Ultra-large scale software systems are systems at a scale much larger than that. An automobile software is all in one physical device, one at one vehicle, interacts with only a few people at a time. Ultra-large scale software systems, on the other hand, often interact with hundreds of thousands or millions of people all over the world all at once. These are systems such as the worldwide banking system, national health systems, 
Research in Motion's BlackBerry communication system, Google, Facebook, Twitter, Microsoft's Xbox Live, and the World of Warcraft that all our teenagers play. These new generation systems pose problems of scale, speed, availability, reliability, privacy, and security that are entirely different from ordinary software systems and require different methods to create, manage, and maintain. They are critical in systems that entire economies depend upon, and even small failures can bring down markets and bankrupt countries. When the Software Technology Laboratory at Queen's was founded almost exactly 25 years ago, there was no plan for the growth and strength of the research community that you see here today. The community of software researchers in Kingston here grew bit by bit in response to need, opportunity, accident, just plain luck, and wisdom from certain deans and others. Over the years, we've consistently acquired the finest young people in the area, and every member of our team is internationally and individually known in the world. We build strong, long-lasting support from ENSER, from the province, and lasting collaborations with industry, for example, over 25 years with IBM, and many others. And most recently, General Motors and Research in Motion. We spun off many technologies to those partners and founded at least five independent spin-off companies. Today, the community of software researchers in the School of Computing, the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, and the Royal Military College of Canada form a unique local community that other software researchers in Canada have referred to as the best kept secret in our country. The latest to join this group, thanks to the support of NSERC and Research in Motion, is Professor Ahmed Hassan, who stood roughly where I am standing now uh, two years ago with the announcement of the NSERC Research in Motion Industrial Research Chair in Ultra-Large Scale Systems, and who has founded the world's leading research laboratory in that area here at Queen's. Together with our colleagues in the Center for Teaching and Learning, providing professional development in teaching, mentoring, and leadership, with Partech, providing training in entrepreneurship and IP management, and with the Queen's School of Graduate Studies, and the ongoing collaboration of our industrial research partners, we believed that this group was in a unique position to offer something that no one else could, a graduate specialization in ultra-large scale software systems. We're happy that NSERC and the distinguished panel of expert reviewers has agreed with us, and we can now begin crafting a graduate specialization that is truly unique in the world, the NSERC Create Graduate Specialization in Ultra-Large Scale Software Systems. NSERC funding lies at the very core of scientific research capability in Canada, and the Government of Canada's ongoing commitment to NSERC and the CREATE program in particular enables Canadian scientists and engineers to continue to excel at research scholarship and graduate training. On behalf of our team and all those receiving new CREATE grants today, I thank you for the opportunity to enhance both our research and our graduate programs with these important new and unique initiatives. Thank you very much.